Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you my updated self-tanning routine. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Tanceuticals Face and Body Self-Tanner. The first thing we need to do is prep the skin for the self-tanner. I'm going to start by cleansing and exfoliating my skin. This includes face and body. So I'm going to take a bath. Here are my recent go-to products. But for today's video, I'm going to start with the Dermalogica Gel Cleanser and Exfoliant. To use these, I'm also going to use my Clarisonic. Using a Clarisonic to cleanse your face is great to remove any makeup, excess oil, impurities from the skin. It also helps to exfoliate to really smooth out the texture. Then I'm also going to follow up using a exfoliant to give my skin an even deeper clean. This is going to also remove any dead skin cells and smooth out the texture of my skin. After I've used my Clarisonic for my face, I'm going to switch out the brush for the body brush, specifically areas such as the knee, elbows, feet, any rougher texture that you want to smooth out in preparation for the tanner. Today I'm using the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Body Gel. I then also recommend that you shave. Not only does this exfoliate, but it also removes the hair, helping you achieve the smoothest and deepest tan possible. Now you can dry your skin and you are ready to apply the tanner. Before applying your tanner, make sure that your skin is fully dry. You should also remove any jewelry as this can rub on the tanner and leave marks or even remove tanner in those areas. To apply my self-tanner, I'm going to use the Tanceuticals Tanning Mitt. For today's video, I'm going to use the Self-Tanning Body Mousse and the Self-Tanning Face Lotion in the shade Dark. First, I'm going to do my body, so I'm going to apply the tanner directly onto the mitt. I recommend that you apply the tanner in circular motions back and forth until you completely cover the area. You can also see that this mousse has an instant tint to it. So this is going to make an easy foolproof application. Using a self tanner that has a tint to it, such as this one, is perfect to make sure that you tan every inch of your body. That way you're not leaving any streaks or missing any areas. You'll notice this product also applies and blends very easily. I have tried many self tanners out there and I have a few favorites, including Tanceuticals. I was so happy when I did first start using this tanner. It has a light coconut scent to it. The smell is extremely light and fresh. So while the tanner is drying, it is a very pleasant light smell. Another reason I love this tanner is how quickly it dries and that it's not sticky. So I can apply this before bed and wear loose fitting clothes and not worry about the clothing or bedding sticking to the tanner. Tanceuticals also has this brilliant applicator specifically designed for hard to reach areas such as the back. This is the Body Buddy. It's a non-absorbent applicator. Grab the handles and move this across your back, making it extremely easy to apply your product. Now for my face, I'm going to use the same mitt and this time I'm using the tanning lotion for the face. I'm going to apply this all over again in circular motions. Be sure that you also get your neck and ears when applying. When you're done applying your tanner, it's time to wash off your applicators. After each use, I simply run them under soapy water and squeeze the excess product out of the mitt. You want to be careful when doing this as you don't want the water to get onto your fresh tan. If possible, try to keep as much water as you can on just the palms of your hands. Then let them air dry. If you don't want to wash them by hand, you can also just throw them in the wash and tumble dry on low. I always prefer applying the tanner right before bed, that way it develops while I sleep. You want to be sure that you do not get sweaty or wet or go swimming while the tanner is developing. You should keep your skin dry for about six to eight hours, which is typically the amount of hours one would sleep. Another reason Tanceuticals self-tanner passed my test is because it does not transfer. It did not stain my sheets or leave any residue. Once you wake up, it's time to shower. So you can simply shower or bathe as normal. You will notice that the instant color will wash off. This is just cosmetic. However, your tan has developed and it will stay on your skin. To ensure that you get the full results from your self tanner, I highly recommend following up with a moisturizer and moisturizing your skin daily. Your tanner should last a week, but using moisturizer will ensure that every area stays even, dry, and smooth. Here are a couple of my favorites. One is the Kapari. Coconut Melt, this is a coconut oil that you can use for many different reasons, one including a body moisturizer. So you can just apply this right onto the skin and it'll melt in, giving a lightweight hydration to your skin. Another one of my favorites is the Bum Bum Cream. This is great for moisturizing, hydrating, and also firming the skin. I also love the scent. It's like a very light vanilla almond pistachio scent. I always get compliments on the smell when I wear this. Then to hydrate the face, I highly recommend the Tarte Maracuja oil. I just apply two drops of the palms of my hands, rub them together, and then pat the oil onto my face. Not only is it highly recommended, but it's also won many awards, such as the ones listed here. 
Another reason this tanner won me over is the ingredients. So here is a list of all the ingredients included and the benefits that they have on your skin. So this is my before and after using the Tanceuticals Dark Face and Body Self Tanners. You can see it leaves a very natural sun-kissed brown tint to the skin. It is not orange. It's a very smooth, natural, gorgeous color without any streaks. I recommend the Tanceuticals Self Tanner to anyone who is looking for an affordable and safe year-round glow. This is an easy routine to keep up with. Again, this tanner will last you about a week before you need to reapply. So that is everything for my current and updated self-tanning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to read the description box. You can also comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.